As the region changes, so must our services. We continue to strengthen our services by connecting people to jobs, health care, and educational opportunities. To adapt our services to meet the current and future needs of the community, we began work in 2018 reviewing and redesigning our system. In 2020, we released our final system plan. However, the recent pandemic, coupled with changes in economic development, has changed the travel patterns and usage of our system. As a result, we have revised our original plan. This presentation will share the proposed revised plan that we are seeking customer and public feedback on to make final adjustments where needed. The overall goal of our redesign is to increase the quality of services through more frequent, direct, and easy-to-use multi-mobility options. To ensure we meet this goal, we established a set of guiding principles. These principles help to ensure throughout this planning process our efforts focused on the customer, employee, and greater community, while also creating equitable and accessible mobility outcomes. We ensured these plans would lead to more connections to jobs, healthcare, and educational opportunities. Within all of these principles, we ensured where possible, decisions were data-driven. So what are some of the major highlights within the plan? To start, the plan delivers an overall increase in service, with a major focus on creating more connections. We've done this by creating new routes, expanding our community connectors services beyond the North Connector, and it includes west, east, and airport connectors. In addition, we have added another downtown circulator service and a fifth on-demand zone. Under the redesign, hours of service may vary by route based on usage. We intend to implement new services at current frequencies with the goal of improving frequencies to the following ranges, bus routes every 15 to 45 minutes, connectors every 15 to 30 minutes, circulators every 10 to 15 minutes. Service hours and frequency changes will be based on driver availability, approved budget levels, and demand and utilization of services. The overall system will be improved reaching within a one-fourth mile of all services, roughly 70% of the Montgomery County population. The redesign will also reach 80% of individuals living in poverty, 85% of jobs, and 100% of major hospitals in Montgomery County. In addition, through a combination of paratransit and the 5310 program, services will continue to be available to 100% of the 65 and older population and individuals with disabilities residing in the county. The proposed system redesign consists of maintaining some existing services, implementing minor changes to other services, and launching new services to replace other services that are proposed to be discontinued. This video will focus on the minor, new, and discontinued services. Let's start with the minor changes proposed to our service. The Route 4 is proposed to be expanded. Under the redesign, Route 4 will serve the East Town Transit Center along Smithville Road to Dorothy Lane, ending at the Kroger near Woodman Drive and Kettering. This extension will be dependent on our ability to expand our trolley infrastructure along most areas of the expanded section of the route. Route 6 is proposed to be expanded to serve east of downtown along the current Route 11 until Old Harshman Road, ending at the Air Force Base Museum. Route 7 is proposed to no longer serve the Rainbow Drive Loop and Kettering, but will be expanded to serve along Woodman Drive north to the Goodwill. Route 16 is proposed to be expanded to serve the Northwest Transit Center along Shiloh Springs Road from Main Street, north on Garber Road, and returning to Main Street to continue along current routing to the Meyer and into Inglewood. On the north end of the route, we're proposing to add limited service to the Boone Shop Museum of Discovery between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. seven days a week. Areas southeast of the Route 16 include proposed expansion of service to the Sugar Creek Plaza Shopping Center area. In addition, we are proposing to no longer serve Montgomery Square Drive, sections of Clio Road northwest of Center Point Drive, and Feedwire Road between Wilmington Road and Clio Road. Instead, most of these sections will be served by a new bus route service. On Demand Zone 1 is proposed to be expanded to improve customer access to cover areas north of 725 near the Dayton Mall and east of 675 along 725. The on-demand zone will also be removed in some areas to account for the new bus route service under the proposed redesign. 
On-demand Zone 3 is proposed to be adjusted to account for additional bus service in that area. These adjustments will include the removal and addition of new service. On-demand Zone 4 is proposed to be removed in some areas due to low utilization of the current service to date. As highlighted, we are proposing four new bus routes, three additional community connectors, one new central downtown circulator, and one new on-demand zone. The first new service is the Route 25, which will travel between Brant Pike at Needmore Road in Northeast Dayton through downtown to Clio Road and Wilmington Pike in Centerville, continuing along 725 to the Dayton Mall area, ending at the South Transit Center. The Route 26 will travel near National Road in Vandalia through downtown to the South Transit Center near the Dayton Mall. The Route 27 will travel between the Meyer at Executive Boulevard and Huber Heights through downtown to First and Central in Miamisburg. The Route 28 will travel counterclockwise between the Kettering Recreation Center and Kettering along Dorothy Lane, Kettering Boulevard, and Stroop Road. This route will connect the eight other routes. The proposed additional downtown circulator will connect the flyer, creating more connections downtown that run east and west, primarily on 3rd Street, connecting to Sinclair College and the West Dunbar Historic District. In January 2023, we launched a new service called the North Community Connector, with a goal in increasing connections with more direct service, avoiding the need to travel downtown to transfer. Our proposed redesign calls for the addition of three other community connectors, which will ultimately create more traveling options for customers, leading to more direct connections. The first of the three proposed connectors is the West Connector. The West Connector will run north and south along the west side of the county. Running south from the Northwest Transit Center, stopping at the West Town Transit Center and South Transit Center, ending at the Dayton Children's Hospital South Campus. This service connects with 12 bus routes, one community connector, three on-demand zones, and three transit centers. The proposed East Connector will connect from the Meyer at Executive Boulevard in Huber Heights, running north and south along the east side of the county, stopping at the East Town Transit Center, ending at the Meyer on Stroop Road in Kettering. This service connects with 10 routes, one on-demand zone, and one transit center. The proposed airport connector will connect downtown to the Dayton International Airport along with major employer sites around the airport. This service connects with 12 routes that are serving the downtown transit center, two nearby circulators, and one on-demand zone. Due to economic expansion planned in the northwest portion of the county, on-demand zone 5 will increase connections to new areas and will cover areas currently served by routes 17 and 43 that are proposed to be discontinued. Through proposed changes to existing services, the addition of new services, all while maintaining some of our existing services, we will replace the majority of services proposed for discontinuation. The changes allow us to develop more direct connections within the system, address current and future areas of economic development, while also maintaining areas where we have seen ridership growth following the pandemic. The Route 11 east from downtown areas will be served by Route 6 and the East Community Connector. South from downtown, most areas will be served by Route 6, 25, 26, 27, and 28. A portion along Shantz Avenue between Far Hills Avenue and Patterson Boulevard is proposed to no longer have service under the system redesign. The Route 14 north from downtown areas will be served by Routes 8, 12, the North Community Connector, and On Demand Zone 3. South from downtown areas will be served by Route 6. The Route 17 north from downtown areas will be served by Routes 26 and On Demand Zone 5. South from downtown areas will be served by Routes 6, 25, and On Demand Zone 1. A portion along Schroyer Road between Far Hills Avenue and Stroop Road is proposed to no longer have service under the system redesign. Nearby services include Route 6, 25, and 28. The Route 18 north from downtown areas will be served by Route 25 and the East Community Connector. South from downtown, most areas will be served by Routes 26, 27, and the West Community Connector. 
A portion along King Richard Parkway between Elm Street and Alex Road is proposed to no longer have service under the proposed redesign. Nearby services include the Route 27 and the West Connector. The Route 19 north from downtown areas will be served by Routes 25, 26, 27 and the East Connector. South from downtown areas will be served by Routes 26, 27, West Connector and the On Demand Zone 1. The Route 34 east from the Northwest Transit Center areas will continue to be served by the North Community Connector. North of Needmore Road will continue to be served by Route 22. The Route 43 north from downtown will be served by the Airport Connector, which will cover the Dayton Airport and some area businesses around the airport. Areas not covered by the Airport Connector will be served by the new On Demand Zone 5. This does not include Route 43's first trip from the Northwest Transit Center, which is proposed to be discontinued. We encourage individuals, groups, agencies, and private providers of transportation to provide feedback on the proposed changes shown in this video. Feedback will be received verbally or in writing at community meetings, which will be held at the following dates and times. February 13, 2023 at Wright Stop Plaza from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., 12 p.m. to 2 p.m., and 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. February 15, 2023, the West Dayton Library from 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. February 16, 2023, at the South Dayton Library from 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. February 20th, 2023, at the Northwest Transit Center from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. February 22nd, 2023, at the Southeast Dayton Library from 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. and 4 to 6 p.m. Can't meet us in person? You could submit written comments via email at speakup at greaterdaytonrta.org or they may be received by calling 937-425-8339. We will also hold a Facebook Live session on February 23rd from 4 to 5 p.m. All feedback will be collected and considered through Friday, March 3rd, 2023. Thank you so much, and we hope that you've learned more about our system redesign by watching this video.